the right sex. All right, so let's get our heartbrokens, baby. Let's get left. What? You know what? Maybe I should dump him. Is that the option? Is that an option? Can I just be like, nope, nope? I see where this is going. I'm dumping you. I'm dumping you. Too late. Too late. I dumped you. <laughs> I'm cool. Phew. I think I finally have everything set up. Amanda should be here any minute now. Remember, I'm a parent with the child to raise. Doesn't matter what happens with me and Robert. I can find a new one and get Joseph. I think that's her car in the driveway. Gotta act natural. Be cool, Robbie. Be cool. Amanda walks to the door with a suspicious look on her face. Hey, Dad. Uh-oh. Off to a good start. Something's fishy. Rats. Uh. It's the feds. <laughs> it's the feds. It's the feds. It's gotta be the feds. That life of crime is finally catching up to you. I tried to send him in a different direction, but even I'm no match for the power and funding of the U.S. government. Well, I think th if they think they're gonna take me alive, they've got another thing coming. I'm kidding. You're right. I have a little surprise for you. Uh, I can tell you're very bad at lying. Amanda, my dear, would you care to join me in the kitchen? Father, it would fill my heart with glee. I like it when Amanda does the other voice. I lead Amanda over to the kitchen table where a present lies covered underneath the tablecloth. Is it a pie? It's nothing special, but I wanted to get you a little something. You graduated high school last week, and I know you told me not to make a big deal about it, but here's a very salty, here's a very salty cherry pie. Aw, <laughs> oh, Dad, you... I dramatically whip the cloth off the table, and Amanda's jaw jumps. No way! It's a stripper outfit! Thanks, I can now make money on the weekends! I figured you probably won't be able to get cable in the dorm, so I thought it might be nice to take a piece of home with you. AKA your stripper thong. <laughs> a DVD box set of long haul paranormal ice grown ghost truckers. This is all 19 seasons! And bonus material including commentary with actual ghosts featured on the show. Dad, I love this, thank you. She gives me a big hug. I'm glad you like it. Hey, you want to hang out with me in the backyard for a bit? Toss the old pigskin or something. He just like paused? What? What paused? That thought. <laughs> totally. I follow Amanda to the back door. Yeah, there's a party with all the dads! That's a, a lot of man meat right there. A lot, a lot of man meat going on. Look, look, this is uh, Milan's future, future husband. Hey, Mr. Man. Hey, Mr. Man right there. Look look into his eyes, Milan. This is your future. He loves you. <laughs> what? You told me not to make a big deal, but you seem to have forgotten that my entire mission in life is to make a big deal out of your accomplishments. So uh, consider this your graduation party filled with adults and, you know, no actual friends of yours. This is how the strip club works, hun. So get used to dealing with adult males that just want to see you shake your body. So get ready to dance. <laughs> Surprise! Dad, everyone's here. Everyone that you're not actually friends with. Well, yeah, everyone wanted to come and support you, just like grown men do with stripper girls. Is that a mac and cheese bar? Sure is, fully customizable down to the type of mac. And there's an ice cream cake, that good kind with the crunchies in the middle. I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. Just go dance on top of that table with the rest of your pals, all right? I'm so proud of you, Amanda. Miss Amanda Eggnips. Amanda smiles and runs to her friends, which are nowhere to be seen. Can we say that? Where are her friends? We just have all of these men looking at us. Look at you. I should make the rounds and make sure everyone's having a good time. But first, mac and cheese. I walk over to Mary, who's having a lively conversation with Amanda. Oh, forgot how to, I forgot how to do this. Listen, kid, you're going to need some real life skills out there if you're going to make it out on the streets. 
so let me show you how to drop it like it's hot. They loved this back in the day before I got involved with Joseph. In fact, this is how I got Joseph. I showed him my flying V. That You didn't see that, but I was spreading my... I was imaginarily spreading my legs on my, on my chair. So learn now. Learn now, honey. I'm going to college. Uh-huh. That's what they all say. That's what they all say. How do you think you're going to pay tuition, huh? How do you think you're going to pay for new sheets after your roommate pisses all over your bed because she got so wasted and her boyfriend just left her there and now she's crying and sobbing because she's alone on your bed and pissing everywhere because she's so drunk? What do you think you're going to do then? You're going to turn to a life of stripping just like the rest of us college girls. It's the same thing. Look, I know you're not old enough to drink, but you're going to have to start building your tolerance now. Right. And I know you're smart enough not to drink until you're of legal age. But guess fucking what? There will be a lot of things that you do that are questionable, young lady. Uh -huh. But hypothetically, if you were to drink... It'd behoove you to drink a glass of water in between rounds. It helps flush out any of the rape drugs they try to put into your system. So be very, very aware. A little bit of rape drug is fine. But when you have too much at once because you're not drinking the water in between rounds, that's your fault. Fool me once, shame on them. Fool me twice, shame on you. Got it. Hypothetically. And if you wake up with a headache, all you gotta do is take a jar of pickles and drink the pickle juice. Oh, you're gonna be fine. You know all about drinking that pickle juice. Makes you a lot of money after the day is done. You get a lot of tips that way. And not just the penis tips. What's going on here? Girl talk. Mary turns back to Amanda. Now let me tell you about how to deal with a bad roommate. First thing you know, you get straight A's if they die in the semester. So if she ends up committing suicide because her boyfriend left her, that's not a you issue, that's a her issue. So I suggest that maybe you make her sleep in her own piss for a couple nights. That'll teach her, and maybe get you straight A's. Mary! Relax, it's a myth. But potentially helpful if you're having a hard time in one of your courses. Supposedly. Against my better judgment, I leave them be. Huh, I don't think I recognize that girl by the snack table. Should I go say hello? Hi, I don't think we've met, but you kind of look like a professional stripper. I really like your fishnets. Oh, we've met years ago. Oh my god, she's to be a man. And I'm here for my revenge? Oh my god, who is this? <laughs> who is this? Who is this? It is, is it Sombra? It is it Sombra? You're taking this a little too seriously. Who is that? Uh, You're Robert's kid, aren't you? Spot on. I guess that makes you Robbie, huh? Yeah, it's nice to meet you. Oh my god! Robert's kid is Sombra! It's Sombra! This is all- This is where it all comes to an end! She go hack the world! She go hack the world! She's pretty, though. She looking right. Ooh, Scottish Scott 121, thank you for subscribing. She is Sombra. <laughs> oh. oh no, that's why she left. She went to start hacking. Seek Robert! Come here, your daughter's a hacker. I know her, I've seen her. She saw me before because I play her in Overwatch. Oh no. <laughs> he promised there would be free food. He promised there would be free food, so that's kind of hard to pass up. I'm going to try to do my best somber impression. I'm sorry if I be, if I sound like I'm really like insulting anybody from a different culture. 
And look, I don't know you, but I can get real with you for a sec. My old man's real closed book, you know. Me and him, we go a long way to go. But you don't erase decades of neglect in a week, but you sure can get tired of saying angry about it. That kind of bitterness, it poisons you, I think. I'm too young for that. Anyway, lately he's been better. A lot better. And between him shaving for once and how much he talks about you, I get the feeling you have something to do with it. It's really bad, isn't it? It's like really, really bad. I like her though. She's fucking straightforward as fuck. She's just like, hey, listen, there's some shit going down and it looks like you want to bang my dad. <laughs> so, thanks. Robert means a lot to me. I'm glad he's getting better. Just keep an eye on him while I'm not around, okay? Or else. What? I'm kidding. You're taking this a little too seriously. <laughs> or am I? <laughs> I don't know why I'm like this. I think it runs in the family. Amanda trots up to the conversation. Hey, I love your necklace. It looks like butt plugs. And Mary told me a little bit earlier that that's something I would need to learn how to use on my live stage show. And your hair. It just, geez, your whole vibe is so cool. I think I could really make a stage persona out of it. Thanks. I like your jacket. My girlfriend collects pins too. Oh, this is my daughter Amanda. Amanda, this is Robert's daughter Val. Nice meeting you. I hear you're a photographer. I'm a hacker. I hack the planet. <laughs> hey, Pyre, thanks for the raid. How are you doing? Aspiring photographer. I'm going to school for it, but I figure I'm probably going to have to strip in the meantime in order to get the funds up. You know, DSLRs are not cheap. You take pictures? Maybe you take pictures of me and my girlfriend doing it. Yes? Then you're a photographer. Welcome to the biz. Val had Amanda a business card. Oh, girl! We got you hooked up, girl. We got you to hook up. If you're ever looking for internships, shoot me an email. Anyway, I need to go make friends with that woman over there who's dual-wielding wine glasses. Catch you later. Val walks away. She's so cool! She gave me her business card! She touched my hand! Congrats, you just networked for the first time. I'm a regular business lady now. Quarterly projection, stock market, synergy! While you're making a fortune as a businesswoman, I gotta keep this party going. Catch you round, pops. Rubby! I don't know. Fuck, I'm gonna have to do all the voices that I have not done in ages. How, do, <laughs> how was he? Rubby! Brian, you made it! Hey, I don't pass up on good Mac. Where's Milan? I've been looking for him for a while. Uh, I hear that he wanted to speak with me last time. What? What do you think of the party? It's not bad. Just not bad? Yeah, it's not bad. Don't let him bait you. Don't let him bait you. Thank you for the lovely compliment. Day killer! Kill her with fire! Kill her with fire! Ugh! Get out of here. Yeah, you trot up. You trot up like a little lamb being ready to get served to the wolves. What do you got to say today, honey? Oh my god. Fuck off, Daisy. We hate you. We all hate you. Burn in a fire. Maybe I should go after, um... Maybe I should go after Brian next just to see if I can get him to murder Daisy. I don't think that's a part of his storyline, but we'll give it a shot. We'll see. Get the, get the weed spraying uprooter. <laughs> just start spraying her in the middle of the party. Compliment my party or I, or I weed spray your daughter. <laughs> I hate her so much. I hate her so much. Listen, Daisy. You're the reason why your dad isn't dating anyone. You're the reason why your dad isn't dating anyone. You're the reason why he's alone. Because he has a child like you. You ruin families. You ruin his chance at happiness. Be very aware of that, Daisy. 
I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Daisy. Oh my god, where did the animosity come from? Have you not watched the series? Daisy is like the bane of everything. She's evil. Hi, Amanda's dad. Bitch, you don't know my name. You don't know my name. You gonna learn my name after those wolves come for you. Hey, Brian's daughter. Fucking bitch. See? See how that feels? This is a really great party. Thanks so much for inviting us. I invited your dad, not you. I'm just letting you know. But thanks for the compliment. Brian eyes, lock eyes. This isn't over. Hey, bro. You know, uh, you know your friend Milan. Uh, he's texted me about five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten times. I don't know what's going on with him. He just won't leave me the fuck alone. It's like he's nonstop. I know, I know, Craig. I get it. I understand. He's just a little bit, you know, maybe, maybe you should just, um, I don't know, just, just exit for good. Just totally block him everywhere. I'm just saying. Bro! This is a real rager, taking our old age into consideration. I'm trying to be in bed at a reasonable hour tonight. Don't let me get too wild. Nice. Don't worry, dude. I'll keep an eye on your fruit punch intake. It's good. You gotta watch the carbs, you know? It's okay. Let's see if we can find you someone actually worth your time, Craig. I'm just saying. You know, I'm really grad... Grad? I'm really glad we're bros again. Let's hit the gym sometime soon, huh? Sure thing, dude. <clears throat> Holy fuck. He's got like... Oh, I can't. No. No. Good fucking luck with that shit. Uh-uh. We ain't... Mm, too many children. Too many. That's that's already a lot right there. There's like little baby children and there's like twin girl... Ch uh, can't do it. And their names are Briar and Hazel. Hazel's alright. But how you gonna name your child Briar? Like a Briar patch... Like, her, her shit is thorny as fuck. Like, that's fucked up. I can't deal with this. I saw those, uh, y you need to get it. You, both of you are gonna be trouble. One of y'all is gonna try to be an Instagram model. The other one of y'all is just gonna be the biggest bitch ever in school. I'm just saying. And this one right here, probably a valedictorian and annoying as fuck about how smart they are. Always correcting my usage of grammar. Nah. Nah, peace. Peace. Glad, glad we didn't try to make anything happen between you and me. Can't deal with all that shit. And you're on a team? Get the fuck out of here. No wonder he did not have time for your ass, Milan. Hi, little ones. Hi. Hiya. Thank you for all that ice cream cake. Wait, girls, how much of that did you eat? They can eat all they want. Listen, they're young. They'll, 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 they'll get taller and they'll stretch out. You'll be fine. Briar ate four pieces. Ask any witness. Ooh, Hazel is the bitch one. Hazel is the bitch one. Briar is the Instagram model. All right, so we know now. We know who the bitch is and we know who the Instagram model is. I'm just saying. No, I didn't. Hazel ate four pieces and wants to pin it on me because we look alike. Have your face. I have your face. Nobody will ever believe you. Oh my God, I can't live in that family. I can't live in this family. Whatever this is needs to stop. Oh, boy. I'll let you guys figure this out. Good seeing you, Craig. Let's hang soon, yeah? Nice. Totally. Tell Amanda congrats for us and tell Milan to stop texting me. Gotcha. Looks like you've settled into this neighborhood quite nicely. Yes, I have, Joseph. Your wife's cheating on you, by the way. Just letting you know, cook. Yup, couldn't ask for a better cul-de-sac. I mean, cook de sac I mean, no, I said cul-de-sac. Well, I'm glad. Hopefully, we'll see you at more church events. We got a big schedule planned for the rest of the year. I mean, I mean, if you got good worship, sure. Ooh, do you have donuts afterwards, Joseph? And maybe if you aren't doing anything later, we could uh, hang out sometime. Are you trying to pull a Mary, Joseph? Joseph, are you trying to pull a marriage? Just because she's fucked up. Your whole marriage is fucked up. You needed to see a cat. This <laughs> Could you just picture me at this barbecue? <laughs> Could you picture me at this barbecue? Legit. 
Oh, Kessox, thank you so much for your subscription. Can we just, can we just say, me at this barbecue would be fucked up. I would be off in one corner with Joseph yelling at him. Mary is off in another corner trying to show Sombra how to do her, like, vaginal exposure line. And I'm just screaming, I'm like, y'all need to get therapy! Y'all need to get therapy! Sure, Joseph, that'd be great! Well, see you later. Maybe you should go visit, you know, some couples therapy. Hugo comes up with a plate of mac and cheese. Oh, I gotta get my British on. <clears throat> the perfect cheddar to mac ratio. Oh, wait, he's British. How do I do British? The perf- I can't do British! <laughs> I forgot how to be British! Um. Uh. Um. How do I do this? Expelliarmus! I don't know! Beautiful work, Robbie! Oh, that's my other- that's my crazy voice. I can't do it. Beautiful work, Robbie. <laughs> Thanks, Hugo. You know, I'm really pleased to see Amanda going to, to a dream school. I'm glad she turned it out for finals. That cunt better have. I warned her ass. Like, she would have to go strip for three days a week if she wasn't going to be able to make it because I need to make sure she gets that scholarship. Me too, that scholarship money will really help. Now she doesn't have to strip so often. Amanda walks by and pretends not to see Hugo. But she's your teacher, just say hi. Amanda, come say hi to your old teacher. Hey, we won't tell anybody about that strip show I put on for you so that you would give me a higher grade in finals, right? Congratulations on... Congratul- con uh, I can't do British. Congratulations on graduating. I know you're good. Oh my god, I can't fucking do it. I know you're gonna do great things at art school. <laughs> ah, thanks. Now go away so my dad doesn't have to do your accents anymore. Amanda starts to back away. Wait, I just realized that you're not my teacher anymore, so I don't have to be afraid of talking to you or stripping for you. You no longer hold power over me. I will expose you for all of the dirty- You're right. Go forth, adults. I can no longer give you detention. Yeah, I'm gonna break anything I want, and there's nothing you can do about it. Ugh. Are you still mad about that time I gave you detention for breaking my glow? Uh. Nope. Oh. And I'll have you know that that globe didn't even fit through the basketball hoop in the first place, so, uh... She'll fit into college just fine. Right. Cheers, love. The cavalry's here. Okay, I got it back. I got it back. But it's too late now. It's too late, baby. Now it's too late. I'm sorry. Why is this game so popular with streamers? Well, listen. I don't. I don't have any men in my life, so I'm having replacements. It's. It's the X. Hey, man. Matt. Let me know when Amanda leaves for college. I'll have a fresh batch of banana bread Kennedys over ready for her. <laughs> Thank you. I know she'll love that. Oh, he just pieced the fuck out real quick. That's what happens with exes, though. That's what happens with exes. See, you doing all right in your life. And he's like, all right. So uh, he's banging some other dude. He's, he's having a great party. He's like, all right, you, you doing all right. I hate to see you doing all right, but... um. You know what? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna bounce now. I'll get you some banana bread, you know, and I hopefully you'll be heartbroken soon, and then I can laugh at your pain. Cause people named Matt are evil. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -hmm. All right. These two weirdos. I'm actually, you know what I'm, I'm going to be honest with you, I'm curious to see what their storyline is. I'm curious to see what their storyline is, because legit, he has to be a fucking vampire, right? Like, there's no way he's not a vampire. There's got to be something weird to him. Like, I feel like, I feel like he's going to be that character in um, that pigeon dating game that, like, makes you, like, uh, make you go like, oh my god, this neighborhood's actually secretly magical. What a splendid garden party. My deepest thanks for extending an invitation to my son and I. 
This icebox kick is divine. Yeah, thanks, dude. Good kick. What? Awesome 6442. Thank you so much for subscribing. Thanks for coming by. You're vampires, right? I'm assuming. You're probably a vampire. Your son is a demon because he seems like a terrible person. But, you know, it's probably the deal. As the party starts to want... Oh, why did I take that voice? By the way, definitely... I definitely appreciate all of the subs during this stream. It's a little bit weird because I'm, like, reading things off of the screen instead of interacting as much. I see there's something that says spoiler, so I'm just not going to really read into it, but we'll find out. <clears throat> As the party starts to wind down, I take a seat on our back porch step. The sun is setting and everyone seems to have eaten their fill. Amanda wanders over and sits down next to me. Oh my god, it's a burrito time! <clears throat> Killer party, Pops! What can I say? I was inspired. So, I, uh, also have something for you. Oh. For me? Why? Not to be completely genuine about my feelings for once or anything, but... Huh. Growing up wasn't easy, but it could have been a lot harder if it wasn't for you. Dad, you've been there for me through everything. There's There's been times in my life where you were my only friend. I was really scared of going to college and being so far away from you, but I realized that everything you've done for me has been to prepare me for this, and I am ready. I am ready to kill Emma R. and Noah. Both of them. I've got a sniper rifle here, and I've got help from some of the other men in the neighborhood, and we're going to track them down hunting party style, because they do not ever, ever hurt me like that ever again, and I'm going to make Emma P. watch. Emma R is going to get scalped, I'm going to stab Noah in the chest, and Emma P, you're going to watch the whole motherfucking thing. I support this fully. I do. I wouldn't be who I am today without you and your guns. Don't cry, don't cry, I swear to God, Robbie, if you cry again. You're the best dad. I love you. And I'm crying. I might actually a little bit. <laughs> I can feel it! Anyway, that was enough emotional vulnerability for for one day. Tomorrow, we start the hunt! <laughs> Present time! Am Am Amanda hands me a tiny wrap package. It is the scalp <laughs> of one of my exes. Thank you so much, Amanda! I love you! I love you! I love you, I love you, I love you. Thank you so much for this scalp. I remember this was um, Matt 1.0. Thank you for murdering him in cold blood. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I don't. I don't want to hurt anyone. This is just a game. It's just a game. It's just a prank, bro. I tear the wrapping off to find <laughs> severed fingers. <laughs> a framed picture of me and Amanda. Oh, thank you. It's us. Kind of shocking. All of our photo albums are just pictures of me, huh? I figured we need at least one together before I leave. Amanda, thank you. Watching you grow up has been one of the happiest experiences of my life. You're such a talented, intelligent young woman, and I'm so excited to see what the future strip show holds for you. I believe that you're going to make tons and tons of money, especially because, you know, you're like biracial. And, you know, the whole biracial thing is a great seller for strip shows these days. Come on. I'm sure you're hiding a great bod under there. Maybe a little bit of egg nip, but you'll be fine. Knock him dead, kid. Always do, and I have been for the last six months with Hugo. Ha ha ha. Good job. Amanda and I share a hug. This is only the beginning, Pops. Plenty more memories for us down the road. Come visit me at one of my shows. Memories to make and stuff to break, right? Ugh, I'm going to break so much stuff intentionally and unintentionally. You're probably going to have to pay for most of it. By the way, world's best dad achievement unlocked. I am the best father, even though she murdered a couple of friends that were not her friends anymore. But it's okay. I'm encouraging. And we got you a scholarship to a school far away. So that way, they can't trace you. They can't track you. They can't find you. We made sure to wipe all of your fingerprints off of that shit. Girl, I got you. I got you. 
It would be my honor. Amanda hops up. Looks like someone's been waiting to talk to you. Ah, oh, here comes the breakup. See how this goes. I glance over to the back of the yard where Robert is sitting on a bench beneath our cherry blossom tree. We got a cherry blossom tree? Oh shit. I'm doing something right in my life. I'm doing something right in my life. Holy shit. Listen, I ain't worried about a breakup when I got a cherry blossom tree. I was actually up in Canada um, when I was a kid. And every day to, on our way to school, I had to walk past like a little a little grove of cherry blossom trees in our neighborhood. Oh my god, I was living life. I was like, I'm fancy as fuck. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yep. Mm. Oh. Let's brace for impact, boys. Let's brace for impact. <clears throat> I'll leave you to it. Me and Emma's are gonna go get ice cream. Alright, hun. Have fun with the rest of the boys. Make sure uh, to clean up thoroughly before you leave them. And make sure to chop up the body so nobody can tell. Love you, pops. Amanda runs off to join her friends. Oh shit, that's a nice tree! Alright. <clears throat> Let's begin. Let's begin. What you got, bro? I take a seat next to Robert as the last gets to make their way out of the party. Hey. Hey. Robert gestures vaguely to the snack table. Good stuff. Yup. I made it myself. So of course it's gonna be fucking good, piece of shit. So I had a chance to talk to Val. She physically threatened you? Yeah, good girl. That's my girl. She said you've been doing better. Trying to work on the vices. I also showered today. Ooh, that's nice. <laughs> we sit in silence for a moment. You know, every day for me is a battle against my own self-destructive habits. I'm about to burp. Uh. But lately, it's gotten a little easier. Thanks for talking some sense into me. It's hard to get things through my thick skull sometimes, but what you said that night actually helped. I'm glad! I like you, Robbie. I like you a lot. Okay, that's the end of the story. We're done. Close the book here. There's a butt. We know there's a butt, but we're just gonna end here. We don't need to go any further. We're done. Done. <laughs> there's a butt. I'm betting y'all there is a butt. I think the next the next word is gonna be a butt. Hi, Bibs. All right. Here we go. I haven't felt this way about someone in a long time. There's a butt. Where's the butt? I lean in and kiss him for a moment before he pulls away. Oh, we knew it. There's a butt. He takes my hand in his. Nope. You're special to me. Oh, there's a butt. Where's the butt? But I have some stuff I need to work on uh, emotionally before I can get into anything romantic with you. You deserve better who than who I am right now. Yup, that's right, I do. I need to be on my own for a bit. Figure some things out. Of course. I think what you need right now is a friend, and I'm very happy to be that for you. Thank you. That means a lot to me. And if you're ever ready for more than that, you better hurry because I ain't waiting for your ass. Just let you know, Joseph wanted to come on over and invite me to his church parties. And it doesn't seem like Mary is all that interested into him. So just letting you know, if you go find me, you better find me soon, baby. You, this, this, all of this, all of this doesn't stay, well, I was going to say, only stay single if it feels like staying single, baby. It's okay, though. I'm kidding. Let's hunt ghosts sometime. Does that mean your penis? <laughs> I would love that. I put my head on his shoulder and he watched the sun slowly dip below the horizon together. 
That's a classic dope, they never come back. Exactly. That's why I was like, mm -mm, baby. Uh uh, baby. No, 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 no. I ain't worried about it. Celestial Skies, thank you so much uh, for uh, hosting us. But the, the thing ended, and we can talk about this. How are you doing? If you get three S's with Robert, you will fook the friend zone. I'm all right. Joseph wants to hang out later. I'm cool with that. Um, I'm so upset right now. Don't be upset, saw. We knew that this shit was coming. It was sweet, though. But he's right. At this moment in time, we are too good for him. So you know what we can do? You know what we can do? We can make him jealous by dating other dads. <laughs> Milan, I didn't fail. I raised a great daughter. She went off to murder people. Um, she went off to murder people. Um, she networked with a, I don't know. I don't know what the fuck Sombra was doing there, but whatever Sombra was doing there, she networked with Sombra. And as we know, Sombra is a part of the hit game Overwatch. So, you know, that could open up doors for my daughter. I'm a good dad. Um, I need DLC now. Now, I mean, we can go back and we can, we can min-max it if you guys want. If you guys want, we can do that for the rest of this evening real quick. Mm. G Pinecone is like right now. Mmm. Well. I personally felt like that was okay, though. I'll be back, my boys. Alright, have fun, Saw. Don't be sad. You gotta go. You can take your yellow trickster. Have fun. Do Brian next? Maybe I'll do Brian next. I'll do Brian next, and we'll prove we'll prove to Milan how, how great Brian can be. But how are we gonna murder his daughter? That's my issue. That That's, that's my issue, okay? Is I... I don't know, I'm not that desperate for... Oh, so cute! That is really cute. I didn't know we got a picture! Well, congratulations! We got a picture. And, uh, just to let you know, Jack Daniels, terrible whiskey. 